Hi, I'm Mark, welcome to NTP. Thanks for clicking on this video. Please make sure you click like and subscribe. Have a look at our other videos and Toolbox Talk. They're packed full of interesting, informative, and useful free training and advice. Now in this video, I'm talking tachographs. Knowing what one is and why it's fitted to a vehicle is relatively straightforward. Tachograph vehicle unit, commonly referred to as a tachograph, is a device used in commercial vehicles to record and monitor several essential data points which are related to the vehicle's operation and the driver's activities. Its primary functions are to ensure compliance with driving and rest time regulations, to track vehicle speed and distance, and to provide accurate data for analysis and reporting. Now, since 2006, new units have been electronic. There's still some older analog units out there where data is recorded onto wax charts. But as a new driver, when you learn to drive your bus or your lorry, do they tell you how to work the tachograph? More often than not, no, they don't. So let's break down the key components of a tachograph unit and how it operates. So a typical tachograph unit comprises of three main components. You've got the head unit. This is the central device installed in the vehicle, and it's responsible for recording and storing data related to your driving times, your speeds, and your distances traveled. A driver card. Every driver who operates a vehicle equipped with a tachograph must possess a driver card. This card contains your personal information and ensures that all the recorded data is associated with the correct driver. A company card. Fleet managers and transport companies use the company card to download the data from the tachograph unit. This data is crucial for regulatory compliance and performance analysis. Now, one of the fundamental aspects of using a tachograph unit effectively is understanding the different activity modes that it offers. These modes help accurately record and track your activities throughout your journey. So let's have a little look at the available modes. First one, driving mode. This shows on the tachograph as a circle with a dot in it. This mode activates when the vehicle's in motion. It records your driving time, your speed, and the distance traveled. The tachograph unit automatically switches to driving mode as soon as the vehicle's moving and switches off again when the vehicle stops. So as a driver, you don't need to do anything specific to enable it. Rest mode. The rest mode symbol looks like a bed. Sounds good to me. It's used when you take a break or when you finish your day. It records when you're taking a break from driving or from working whilst out and about, and when you're on a daily or weekly rest. To enter the rest mode, you manually press the mode switch to select the bed symbol on the tachograph unit. It's crucial to log breaks and rest periods accurately to ensure compliance with the required breaks from driving and the rest periods under regulations. The other work mode. Now this symbol looks a bit like an X with bits on top, referred to as cross hammers. The mode covers activities other than driving or resting, such as when you're performing vehicle checks, loading and unloading. Again, you manually select the cross, cross hammers symbol on the tachograph unit when carrying out non-driving activities. Period of availability mode. So this is symbolized by a box with a line through it. This mode indicates that you're available for work, but not actually actively engaged in driving or with work. You need to manually select the box with a line through it symbol when you're not working or driving, but you're ready to work. So, start of the day, or when you get to your vehicle first thing. The first thing you're gonna do is put the driver card into the tachograph unit before you start carrying out vehicle checks or any other activity. Put your card in, upside down, so the picture of you is facing the floor. You've now linked the tachograph with your profile. The tachograph will ask you if you wanna make any manual entries or if you've been on rest since the card was last withdrawn. Now is the only opportunity you have to add in any activities that you've carried out since the card was withdrawn last time to ensure that you've got an accurate record on your card. After you ejected your card last time, did you finish straight away or did you sort paperwork out for 15 minutes? If you carried out any other work, you can make a record of that now manually. How about when you started today? Collecting keys or paperwork? It's all the work and should be recorded as a manual entry. 
Now pay close attention to your activities throughout the day. Select the appropriate mode on the tachograph unit or the work, availability, break. The incorrect use of a mode switch can lead to infringements in your records. It's one of the biggest contributory factors to getting fines from DVSA. So keep an eye on the tachograph's display for alerts and warnings. The more modern units will notify you before you need a break or if you've exceeded any driving times. With older units, you may need to calculate in your head how long you've been driving or follow the menu options to see what's recorded in the tachograph memory. Now, tachograph vehicle units are indispensable tools in the commercial transport industry, promoting safety, compliance, and efficient operations. Now, by understanding the different modes and how to operate the unit effectively, you can ensure that you adhere to the regulations and make sure you don't donate your hard-earned wages to DVSA in fines. Remember, accurate and responsible use of a tachograph unit benefits you individually and the industry as a whole as it contributes to a safer and more efficient environment. If you want to know more about tachographs and making manual entries, or staying legal with the driver's hours and working time regulations, or you want to check out our unique Ultimate Professional HGV Driver Programme, packed full of essential information, pop over to our website, address in the information below, take a look at what's on offer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe so we can let you know when new videos are uploaded. Check out our other masterclasses and free training videos, including toolbox talks and more interesting, informative and useful videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.